in theaters now, in theaters is really the way to see this from this year, uh, is a movie called Fall. If you are afraid of heights, this may or may not be the film for you. Um, this is a movie I, I wanted to see in the theater from a producer, from somebody creatively behind the scenes who was involved with 47 Meters Down. This is like the opposite of that. So 47 Meters Down was two women go into a shark cage deep underwater, let's say 47 Meters Down, and something goes wrong and they're trapped and how do they survive and what will be left of them. And this basically goes in the opposite direction. So two women decide to climb this incredibly tall radio tower like in the middle of the desert where there's not many people around. It's no trespassing, it's danger. We're gonna go and trespass and do some you know, extreme thing for my YouTube channel and conquer our fears and, and, and look death in the face and all that. And things don't quite go so well for them. The trailer does a good job of selling it where they're climbing up this old rusty tower that's like hyperbole a mile in the sky and the bolts are a little shaky and something happens. So that's basically the story here is these two women are, are friends and there has been a trauma in, in their mutual past. And in order for one of them to really get over this, they uh, the, the spunkier friend convinces her to go and do this extreme climbing thing. And the old, the old you would have done this and they get up on this tower and, and things don't go the way they planned. I'm not gonna say any more than that. So I like movies like this. We used to have a, a saying in the household, we call it the, to make it proper for TV, the F That Film Festival. It was movies like Gravity or All Is Lost, where All Is Lost is uh, Robert Redford's, you know, sails around the world by himself and things don't quite go so well. So we would be like, sail around the world, F that. Uh, gravity, be, be alone in a space pod, F that. Uh, 47 meters down, same thing. Everest was another movie like that. And here's another one where you look at that and you're like, yeah, F that, I'm not doing that. So I've talked to a couple people who have seen this. People who are, have a serious fear of heights, this movie is a sweaty palm experience. I wanted to see it on the biggest screen I could. This really is a movie that I'm surprised wasn't in 3D. 3D really isn't much of a thing anymore, but I saw this movie called Everest that was about people climbing Everest. Not a documentary, fiction film, but it really played it up when they would look down and there would be a POV shot of you looking a mile down. It really enhanced the, the sense of height and danger. And I felt like this movie could have benefited from that. This movie would have benefited from being seen on an IMAX screen. You really want to see this big to help really feel what the characters are feeling and get that sense of, wow, they're really far up there. And wow, the horizon is, is far in every direction and there ain't no people coming around. So I really, so I went in with very, very low expectations. All I want is a movie with a lot of tension where these people get more and more screwed as they sort of circle the drain and how do they get out of it or do they? And it didn't really deliver for me personally. It starts off with uh, an incident that reminded me of the movie Cliffhanger, which is a movie I really do like. And that opening of Cliffhanger is one of the greatest, most tense openings of a movie that I have ever seen. So something in the realm of what happens in Cliffhanger happens. And it just, it wasn't, they didn't sell it to me. The way it was shot and cut, it just, it didn't, it didn't quite work. And, and something happens in that opening scene that, becomes a big payoff later that I could see coming the moment it happened in that scene. And Jeffrey Dean Morgan is in this very briefly. There's only really a handful of people in this movie. You've got the opening scene, you've got our main troubled character interacting with a couple of people, and then really it's the two women doing their climbing thing. Um, the melodrama was really kind of cheesy. The writing was really kind of bad for the most part where it would telegraph things later and they would do certain things that seemed ridiculous. And it, the tension worked at times and how they executed the, the climb and the shooting of this thing worked at times. Occasionally the characters would do things and I'm sure it was by design where you were like, you're a fool, what are you doing? You're going to die. And that just, it, it was effective in the sense of building suspense and maintaining suspense and putting you, at one point Val was digging her fingernails into my arm because it was so edge of your seat tense. So it's effective on that level. To me, this is best served as, it really felt like it was written for like teenagers, maybe teenage girls, maybe. that's. We went to a matinee at a gigantic theater and weekday matinee, we were the only people in, two other people were the only people in the theater. And they seemed to me to be the target audience. And usually I can't stand hearing anybody talk during a movie making any noise. But this was one case where I'm like, you know, if they're gonna sit behind me and squeal and go, eh, that's gonna make it better for me. Like a horror movie where people are, are like legitimately freaked out or scared is better. A comedy where people are surrounding you laughing is better. So luckily they were very quiet, but 
in the end, I thought fall was kind of a big disappointment. I would much put over that uh, 47 meters down or other film or gravity or all is lost or other movies. If you're looking for the kind of survival thing or, or a number of other films that I can't think of right now that are characters slowly circling the drain in a really, really precarious situation. And do they have the survival skills to live? Do they make the wrong decisions? Do they make the right decisions? Uh, Fall will probably not be in theaters for very long. As I record this, it's been out for about a week or two. I think it'll get pushed out by the next thing that comes along. But if you want to see it, if you think it looks good to you, I'm sure a lot of people will like this a lot. I strongly suggest you see it on a big screen, sit close, really live the danger with these ladies, and uh, uh, take, take the ride along with them. So in theaters currently, fall.